coming from here? No thanks, I want to look after my heart. Hey, these ones are all right. Reduced yeah. salt. Oh, we've got a bit of sugar on them. We've got real fruit. Yep. Well, it's done, done, so, done something to your brain. So how long has he been dead for, do you reckon? That's a shame it's a heat. Oh, yeah, hard to say. Months, probably. It's pretty cool and dry down there and he's covered with dirt, so he's well preserved. Yeah. Murder? Well, he hasn't topped himself, that's for sure. Unless you can figure out how he buried himself, then nail and shoot a masonite gun. So we got an ID? No. Someone went to a bit of trouble to keep that a secret. <laughs> no hands. Right. Yeah. It's a nice clean cut there. Yeah, it is a clean cut. I'm going to go out the back and see if uniforms found anything. So you haven't determined the sex or anything? Not yet, no. How'd you find the body, Hon? Saw his shirt sticking up. Thought there might be something in it. Had to dig around. You had to dig around, did you? What'd you do that for? Uh, looking for somewhere to hide me stuff. Yeah, what stuff? Grog. Papers. Papers in there, right? I've got important stuff. In that bag there? Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. Come with a fag in it. What? A fag? No, sorry. Yeah. So how long have you been staying here for? Oh, I don't just stay here. I stay all over the place. But this one here, how long have you been staying in this one? Oh, I don't know. A couple of months. So if you've been staying here on and off for a few months... Yeah. How come you didn't notice any smell? Smell? Well, you know, Mate, I don't know what stinks back. worse, the corpse or this guy. Take him in and get a statement, will you? Uh, Come on, mate, I thought you were going to no, do it. It's your job. Come on, oh, lift me up. Come on, lift me up. How are you going to watch this thing? Look at this. What's she playing at here? It's changed the whole MO. Different skies, hitting the same banks, different time. You know, what's she playing at? Look at that. He's got a stab wound in the shoulder. You reckon he's losing it? I mean, why doesn't he just pop the guy right there? I mean, is the gun loaded? He's changed his MO. Don't know. That's what I'm trying to work out. Kate, can you get back onto all the emergencies, all the different hospitals, see if somebody's turned up in the last 24 hours with a stab wound? The left shoulder. The uh, statement from our old wino friend? Oh, yeah? Nothing that we don't already know. Anything from the morgue? No, nothing yet. Did he give you a description? Yeah, there's a description. Are those junkies he was talking about? I don't remember what they're worth. There's no names or nothing. So. All right. Thanks, mate. <laughs> well, I don't know. I haven't seen Nick in weeks. So you don't know where he might be living now? No. I don't know. What about some of his other mates? Could it be there? Can you give me the name of some of these other mates? Why, well, what's he done? He hasn't done anything. I just want to see him. I need to talk to him. Trouble with the cops, say. Eh? I don't know whether to believe you or not, mate. I still don't know any of his other mates anyway, so... Could be anywhere. All right. OK. There's an old uh, abandoned terrace house at Mitchell Street, you know, at the boards, up the front. Where well, you found that body at? Yeah, how'd you know about that? Word well, gets around. I, I just heard it. You don't know how the body might have got there, do you? No. I've never been near that place, I swear. I just heard. Right. Well, if you do see Nick, can you tell him I need to talk to him? Yeah, I will. Thanks. I'd stop smoking those joints if I were you. Bad for your health. How'd you go? <laughs> Listen, mate, don't worry about it, OK? He knows how to look after himself. Yeah, that's what worries me. OK, I'll see if the dogs have uh, turned up anything on Derek Lamb. OK. Phil, the reports have come through about your dead guy from the morgue. Mm -hmm. uh, Caucasian male, uh, 30. Uh, he's got no apparent wounds except for the set of hands. And there was minimal blood around the shirt cuffs. So that means the hands were cut off after his death? I don't know. I hope so, for his sake. Uh, forensics do more tests. Oh, and uh, there's a pin in his right forearm. Titanium pin, huh? Yeah, see, it's holding the radius together there. Looks yeah. like he's had a pretty bad accident of some sort. Yeah. What's this? Uh, well, he's had his hands chopped off. Oh, well. Jesus. Yeah, we haven't found them yet. Mm. Right, so whoever cut the guy's hands off thought his prints were in front, yeah? Yeah, it's pretty ironic, right? actually. 
chop this hand off, expose the pin. Titanium. Well, it's pretty expensive, you know. It's, it's rarely used because of that reason. Um, yeah. Listen, you wouldn't be able to ask around, would you? Um, you really got to get an ID on. Doesn't the police service pay people to do that for you? Yeah, but I thought I'd just uh, take a shortcut. Yeah. I need the ID pretty mm. quickly. OK, well, can I keep these? I'll hold on to them? Yeah, sure. Great. OK, good. Thanks. Listen, you haven't uh, seen or heard from Nick? You know, if you run me, I'll tell you. you yeah. Know that. Right. Thanks for that. It's all right. Hey. Mm hmm You want to um, draw something to eat or drink or something? Or are you no. racing out the door? No, I better get going. Right. So how was your date last night? It didn't happen. Oh, that's a shame. Yeah. Yeah, it was a bit of a shame, yeah. Who was it? Is it right to ask? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's um, Tom Wallace. He's a travel journal. Ah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thanks again. OK. See ya. See ya. Hi. Uh, sorry about cutting out last night. And, um, yeah, I'd like to see you. I'll call around your place tomorrow lunchtime, about 12 or so. If you're there, well, you're there if not. I guess I don't know. I'll see you. Looking for work, mate? Yeah. What sort of work are you looking for, do you know? Whatever I can find. Name's Harry, mate. How you doing, Harry? Yes. I give up looking through the papers after about three months of being out of work. Ain't never anything in there. How long have you been looking for then? About three hours. It's <laughs> all ahead of you then, mate, isn't it, eh? What's your name, son? Nick. Cheers, Nick. Harry. Hey. I used to clean hospital dunnies, right? 12 hours a day. And I found out I could make three times as much money growing dope. It was a moment of truth. You still doing that? No, no, no. I moved on from there. Cheers, mate. To what? Smack? No, nah, come on, mate. You do that shit, you end up with a gun in your face. That's if you want to make money out of it. And you got to hang out with a crowd of people you wouldn't piss on. I like to know who I'm talking to, if you know what I mean. Why are you talking to me, then? Bit of a netter. What kind of netter? You already bought me three drinks. Okay, I'm just being friendly, right? Friendly, huh? You after my ass or something? Well, give us a break. If I was after a bit of ass, it wouldn't be as scrawny as yours and it wouldn't be in blokes' niggas either. Come on. You ever done a job, Nick? What kind of job? Break your hand, Maybe. Drive a car? Yeah. What would you say if I told you you could be 10 grand richer just from sitting on your back? So what would you say? Probably you're full of shit. <laughs> yeah, look, have that one too, Nick. I'll tell you what, Nicky, son. You ever think about it, and I'll come back here about, what, three o'clock tomorrow afternoon. You tell me what you think. Maybe we can do some business, eh? Thanks for the drinks, Harry. You're welcome. Catch you later, son. Charlie, how you doing? All right, haven't seen you in a while. No, been busy. Yeah, I heard you got a new, uh... Hey? Hey? It's not your business, is it? I don't know, it's supposed is to it? be a secret, is it? Everyone knows about it. No. Okay. So there's two orthopaedic surgeons in Australia that use titanium pins, right? There's one in Melbourne and there's one in Perth. If I was you, I'd use the guy that's in Melbourne. His name's Dr. Greg Cameron. Now, he specialises in bone crush injuries, especially those of the ulna and radius. You're a bloody genius. I bloody know. So, um, this doctor, do yeah. you know him? Well, I'm not ringing him for you if that's what you're angling at. Well, do you think he'd speak to us? <laughs> well, I don't know. You should use your good phone voice and find out. I don't think I've got one of those. Well, wing it. Just see what happens, you know? Go with it. Oh, and hey, um, can you do me a favour? Yeah, great. If you are going to spread sort of 
rumours about, you know, gossip of what's going on in my personal life, could you just let me know? Because it'll just give me a chance to think up some really witty responses before people hijack me. Okay? not bad, Max, this article your journal mate wrote about non-government Oh, welfare. right, he sent you one, did he? No, 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 just stole it off your desk. Oh, I'll tell you, look, the yes. soil needs a bit of work, stretching the net. Sounds oh, like a fishing okay. magazine. OK, so is there any other comments and notes you want to give me, Teacher Vincent? Is there <laughs> yeah, anything Yeah, 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 spelling's all over the place. Oh, who's? Yeah, look, look here. He, he spells practice with a S instead of a C. Oh, yeah. A bit hard to tell a journal that he's got a spelling problem. Did you tell it? No. What are you telling? Hey, Max, you're going to be cruel to be kind, eh? This <laughs> article's not going to be published with all these spelling mistakes, in it? Amazing. When Charlie called? Last night, just after you left. Yeah. I told him you had a hot day. It isn't ridiculous. You just say I'm going to South America. I'll see you later. Yeah, right. My patients are really lummy for that, wouldn't they? Screw them. Screw them? Screw them. Where's Mr. Support the Welfare System? Hey? What was it you said in your piece? Caring and devotion to duty is the signature of people who work under the holes in the safety net. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm a selfish <gasps> bastard. Oh. Crucify me. No. And there's no E in, in caring either. Okay. You know that? I'm going to go on my own and I will send you a postcard yeah. and I'll yeah. see you later. Yeah, bye bye. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't want to do it. Hey, what, what time are you leaving? Four o'clock tomorrow afternoon. Um, Honolulu, LA, Houston, Lima, straight through. Oh. This is a big trip. Sounds like a plane fight from hell. You're going to miss the big one. Thanks for the offer, though. Yeah, right. You know that, um, you know flying into the sun's worse for jet lag than flying with it, don't you? Aye. It's something to do with the melatonin receptors in your brain. It's the whole night, day, night, day thing or something like that. But I mean, the amount of flying that you've done already, you'd probably be onto that. You'd probably know it. You see, this is what happens. I would be talking about this sort of stuff on the plane all the way there. And... You would ask the pilot to throw me off before you hit the date line. The lunch is up. What's this? It's blood. Yeah, right. Don't you ever creep up on me, Nixon. Don't you ever do that. Okay. I mean, I don't, don't you ever. Ever creep up on me. Sorry. Come on, let me have it. Bill, hi. Hello, Maxine. OK, Hello. this is a list of the uh, right arm titanium resets from the surgeon in Melbourne. These are the patients from the last three years. Sit over here, Maxine. What's going seat. on? What's going on? Sit down. Do as I tell you, okay? Just do as I tell you. It's only a short list, but uh, titanium is apparently eight times the cost of stainless steel. Right, so. Have you run this list uh, with missing Yeah, I've cross-matched them. I've cross-matched them. Uh, nothing here or in Victoria. We're still waiting for the other states to get back to us. Um, in the meantime, I've checked with cops for priors. Again, nothing, but the Victorians have got Stephen Jones Donnelly and Tom Wallace. Tom Wallace is on a PCA. Stephen Jones Donnelly is obtained by deception. Tom Wallace, ring the bell. Yeah? What would have taken you to South America? It wasn't bullshit and you'd have loved it, I reckon. You'd have got pissed off when I told you I wasn't coming back, but we, we, we would have had a fun couple of weeks. It's, um... Go there. Well, not now, anyway. Change of plan. Unless I kill you. <sighs> no, that it done. 
I'd catch too much shit that would I? Too risky business that. Cops would be onto me like, oh shit on a blanket. Soon enough, eh? Especially your mate. William. Sweet William McCoy. He killed my old man, you know. My beautiful old man. Most important person in my life. Shot him through the chest. He uh, died in my arms, you know, twitching and bleeding all over me. I could, could cut McCoy's balls off and make him eat him. I thought about it too. And I had plenty of chances. What's he like on a workbench, Maxine? Is he a good route? Eh? Hey? Just not shake your head. Ain't no going to my bed. He'd be squirting inside 20 seconds, wouldn't he? Now the target is wearing black jeans, grey t-shirt, blue jacket, yet with black boots. Okay, no, he's on foot. He's on foot. He's got about 10 minutes on us, but he can't be too far away. Okay, thanks. We think he met up with this journal, Tom Wallace in Melbourne. We befriended him, got to know him. Found out he didn't have many friends or relatives that might come looking for him or anything. He uh, followed him back to Sydney. Bumped him off and stashed his body. How did he kill him? Um, well, the post-mortem's not finalised yet, but we think it's probably strangulation. Mm. Mm. I made him sandwiches. Ham, cheese, and tomato sandwiches. Okay. Charles Berg. Would you be able to tell me everything you know about him? Could you do that? Okay, well, um, what about uh, telephone numbers or maybe a car he drove? You know, in all those conversations that you might have had, did he mention an address? We no. could be staying here. No. He used to write for a travel book. A travel book? A travel book. Do you know what the name of it was? Pocket. Pocket book. There Just pocket. A, there was another one. What was the other one? He's probably got Nick. What's happening, eh? Nothing much, man. Oh, yeah. You joking? No, 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 for me, no. Hey, what happened at three o'clock? Oh, it's all right, man. I had a bit of business, you know, but I just bit of that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You had to think about what we talked about yesterday. Yeah, mate, yeah. You in? I don't know yet. What are you doing here, Nick? Well, I thought we could talk about it a bit more. Yeah, wait. 
Look, Sunshine, listen to me, all right? It's not a quiz show, OK? I told you what I'm going to do. Now you're either in or you're out. If you're not, don't press me about it. I don't it. know what I've got to do. Now, I'll tell you what I don't want, all right? I don't want some spy on this kid who's going to do in a shite at the moment the pressure's on. And you're starting to look right out of me at the moment, Nick. Well, all, all I'm saying, mate, is 10 grand's never easy. OK, mate, you have a good life, OK? He's left an hour ago. He could be on the other side of the city. All right, can you get onto those travel books Tom Wallace used to write for? It's long shot, but it's worth a go. It's all right, I'll give it a go. Kate, can you chase up anything on Tom Wallace? You know, credit cards, bank accounts, telephones, accounts, anything like um, that. Bill. If Derek Lamb's been living Bill. in somebody else's skin for the last six months, Bill. there's got to be something there. Tom Wallace has one living relative, his father. He lives at 17 Mount Street. That was him on the news. Yeah. Under the floor. That's right. They cut off his hands. Oh, my God. Mr. Wallace, when was the last time you saw your son? Oh, last year sometime. He... He came to see me. He was going away again. Oh, Asia somewhere. Said he'd send me a card. He never did. Do you suppose that was because of what happened? Well, I don't know about that. Well, maybe he just forgot or didn't want to anyway. Your kids aren't supposed to die before you, are they? That's not how it works. He hadn't uh, contacted you since then? We had our problems, him and me. His mother and me got divorced when he was a kid. Blame me for that. Well, fair enough, too. But he never had any brothers or sisters. And what was hard on him is he had no one to share the, share the pain, you know? But I did love him. Despite what he thought, very much. I want you to know that. Yeah, I understand. Who did this to him? Do you know? Reception. I think mm. I think Bill I think Bill brought him in for you. Right. Don't just plonk him over there. Dr. Maxine Summers. Ooh. Hey. You should go home. You should go home and rest. I feel so stupid. I feel so stupid. <laughs> hey, don't, don't whip yourself over this, eh? Hey, I should have realised. Even fooled me. Yeah, but it wasn't. It wasn't that I believed him. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't that I believed him. It was. It's like. It's because. Because I thought that, and and that he he was. See, I thought, and I was. And it was bullshit. It was bullshit. 
bullshit, Vince, because he was only using me to get a bill. Do you know what? I was just like a stalking horse or something. Still here. Yeah. Okay. Um, there's a couple of patients outside. Oh, I, I think I'm going to tell them to go <laughs> home, eh? <laughs> what do you reckon? Yeah? yeah? Tell them to come back tomorrow? Yeah. Maybe even next day? No. Yeah, next day. Can we have two days off? No, I just tell them to come back tomorrow. Okay. Thanks, Vin. Well, you got a hit on Tom Wallace's credit card. He used it two months ago to hire a car. It's been cancelled since, but he's got the same address still there. Good work. All right, get on SPG. Get him out there. We'll follow up. Okay. Kate, you want to be on this one? Yeah. You sure? Yeah. Okay, you're the driver. Police! Police! The police! Okay, you want to hold up with this? Do you want to keep it as evidence or something? No. You know? Evidence of what? Well, that he wasn't who he said he was. And I thought maybe it might implicate him in the murder or something. Well, he's already implicated in that. I mean, there's no admissions on here or anything, is there? Just that uh, he must have fallen in love with you. Idea why I might have sent this? Yeah, because he plays power games. He plays power. Why? You said that yourself. Why would he want to play a power game with you? I mean, he's already shown his hand. I'm his target. Power's power. Doesn't matter who the target is. You sure you're okay? Nice flowers. <laughs> Red roses, eh? You gonna keep those too? I don't know, I hadn't really thought about it. I'm more interested in um, 
where they came from, you know, which courier company or anything like that, those mm. sort of details. Yeah. yeah, I thought you would be. Let's check it out, so. I don't know, I hope it'll help. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry about your front door. That lock did need fixing, though. Yeah. Oh, look, I really think it was worth it. I'm gonna sleep on my brother's couch tonight. Well, it's always my couch, you can stay on there. I've got all the bugs clean. <laughs> I think I'll go with Richards. Alright, thanks for this. Latest model. Well done, well done, son. Oh. It's not really the latest model, you know. It's a 98. No air conditioning. No air conditioning, oh, bummer. Yeah, I swapped the plates. Where's the old ones? In the back. Why to underestimate a Jew? Done this before, eh, Nicky? Done what before? What are we doing? Union Bank, Inmore Street, you know it? We're gonna hit a bank. No, I'm gonna hit the bank. You're just gonna drive the car. No, you said it was a breaking in. Well, it is. Big one. It's worth 75 G's. Hey, there's three of it. Put it in your pocket, three G's. There's seven more in it for you when the job's done. If you shoot someone, I go for accessory. Hey, I have never shot anyone in my life, all right? Here, look. Look. No shells, see? No flies on you, Nicky, eh? Hey? Hey, stops me doing anything stupid on camera. It's worth more. You reckon? Twelve. Twelve more after the job. Nine. Twelve where I walk away, right here. No, 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 hang on. You try and walk away, son, and I'll have to kill you. <laughs> he's not leaving the country on Tom Walsh's passport. No, but what's right? to stop him leaving the country on somebody else's passport? I mean, he's changed his identity a number of times, he's changed his voice, the whole thing. He could do that, but does he have the time? Well, I mean, it only takes 24 hours. Hey, a report's just come in. A uh, stolen Mazda RX-7, uh, red jury number ACV-51C. Right. He's going again. Pull over. Where? Right here? You're right here. Is she gonna tell me what's going on? We're really okay. Relax. Don't you just love reclining seats? Look, chill out, man, okay? Chill out. Get me a list of all the banks in the area, the time lock security system, with a side street access, well, and has had a delivery. Well, who's to say he's not going to hit somewhere cash. else? What? Like, he could hit Cronulla anywhere, really. No, he always hits the bank within a 10k radius where he knocks off the car in 24 hours. He wants us to think that he's one step ahead. Hang on a second, he's changed his MO once. He could change it again. I mean, he might hit somewhere else. He's uh, got a point. He wants me to know where he is. You sure about that? Yep. Okay. Loosen up, Nicky, son. You're making me nervous, man. Come on. How long's that Ford been behind us? I don't know. I don't know. Where did you get this car? Last night. I said this morning. What does it matter? Okay, Bill. Union Bank and Enmore, they got side access, key lock security, they get a cash delivery at 10 a.m. If he hits at 11 o'clock, we've got 15 minutes. Let's go. Let's go. Cops, man. Hey, follow us. Come on. Floor it, man. Floor it. Come on, man. I'm going as fast as I can, okay? We've got traffic. Come on! Ah, oh, shit! Come on, back up! Quick, quick, quick! 
It's your call, Bill. Come on, start it up! What do you want to do? Oh, Jesus. Oh, Alright, don't shoot! Don't shoot! Hold your fire! She done started! Come on, let's go! Come on! That's the boy now. Come on, good. You're gonna do a runner. Come on, son, go! Come on, go! Bill. Come on, try that bloody thing! Go! Go! go. Don't shoot! What's he doing? Jesus. Don't shoot! Hold it! Jesus. Hold your fire! Hey, Derek. Get away! One Help step closer, Dad. shut up! One step closer and I'll blow his bloody brains out, all right? Well, you want a charge of murder as well as all the other shit? Hey, the paper says I'm being done for murder anyway. Oh, that's bullshit. You won't be. That's bullshit. Come on. We've got no evidence of murder. Oh, they never stop you, Bill. Never stop you. Derek, listen to me. Let the boy go and I'll try and help you. Oh, no, I'm taking my chances, baby. No, you. Come on, hey, Dad, come on. Shut up. No, 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 don't. No, Nick, turn the car off. No, turn the car off. Go, come on. Listen to me, Derek, listen to me. You try and go out of here, the cops will shoot you. I'll take my bloody chances, no, go! Derek, come listen, on, go! Kill you! Derek! Don't, don't listen to me. Leave the boy out of this. This is between you and me. Well, let's leave the boy out of this. Come on. You try and drive out of here. The cops, they're all going to shoot you. And you want to pray and hope that it's a clean shot, because if they do miss, you could end up in hospital. If you get wounded, you could end up as a vegetable. You know, you could end up crippled or anything. So think about it. Come on, think about it, Derek. Let the boy go. Come on, let the boy go. Come on, let my, come on, let my kid go. Come on, Derek, come on. Just let him go, give us the, come on. Come on, Derek, take the gun away, come on. Let the boy go, yeah, come on. That's it, that's it, come on, Derek. That's it, just that's it. Come on, mate, out of the car. Mate. Out of the car, that's it, turn around. What photos then? What, what photos are these? Well, the ones of uh, Maxine Summers. My son, myself. All found the back shed of your house. It's got your fingerprints all over them. You got the wrong house, mate. All right. Let's talk about uh, escape, lawful custody, aggravated assault, armed rob, kidnap, possession, of illegal firearm. You've been a very busy boy in the last few months, haven't you? Very busy. Hey, we've got witnesses lined up to put you away. Come on, come on. People make mistakes all the time. Mate, you, you know that, Bill. Better than anyone. Were well, you in possession of a balaclava? Shotgun? They match the ones on the hours of security video we've got of you. Of you knocking over those banks. Found in the car. I thought that belonged to your son. You should keep an eye on him, Bill. All right, tell us about Tom Wallace. Who's he? Oh, it's just, he's a bloke whose skin you've been living in for the last six months. Did I ever tell you about the time I used to go fishing with me old man? Up in Foster? No. You know, he could catch blackfish like a bastard. Knew the tides, you know, the faces of the moon, all that stuff. You ever done that with your boy, Bill? Your old man was doing stick-ups long before you were born. Yeah, and you put a bullet in his chest, didn't you? If you hadn't started shooting, he'd still be dragging in those blackfish. 
You're not much better than him, Bill. No, you're not really. You're still scum, mate. Yeah. And you're still going to jail. Escape custody, what's that? Another uh, four years on top? All this other shit you're talking about, it's news to me. And if you want to load me up with that, that means your boy will go under for uh, conspiracy to commit armed robbery. If you say that's what I was doing, well, I'll have to say that's what he was doing. He'll get six years, maybe more. Still on everything? Do you believe him? No, I don't. But unless Lamb puts him in, I mean, there's nothing really to support a conspiracy charge. No fingerprints, apart from what's on the car. Right, thanks. Take your foot out of my drawer, please. So, what was the idea? What was that all about? No idea, Bill. Just. I didn't do anything. So it was all a surprise, was it? The cops? Oops, Thanks. Was it? You chased the whole thing? Yeah. That's right. We just wait here till I get back. If he tries to leave, you handcuff him to the desk. Did they pay you extra for babysitting? Very funny. Go away for a while. Uh, where are you going to go? I don't know. North. Townsville, maybe. Huh? I can't stick around. I just get back in the smack. You make it sound like you haven't got a choice, mate. I know what I'm like. Well, maybe, you know, we're both no good at learning from our mistakes. But you're better than I am. Oh, yeah. How do you know that? I wouldn't be sitting here if you weren't. Well, where would you be? In remand, probably. Yeah, if you were part of the bad job. But you won't, right? Yeah, that's right. Good. Then it's got nothing to do with me, has it? Whatever you say. But thanks anyway. Look after yourself. So why don't you stay for one more beer? No, I gotta go, man. I really appreciated that. Just have one more and then you can go. Just one? Stay in right. touch. Okay. You have. Yeah. You take care of yourself, won't you? Yeah. And yeah, wherever you go, you let me know where you be. Sure. All right? Sure then. Because I'll come and visit you. Yeah. And we'll go fishing and stuff like that. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Thanks, Dad. Right, okay. Now you take care of yourself. All right? 